Welcome to Attempting to Get My Life Back Together Day 1. Hey guys, it's your least favorite YouTuber here. First off, I'd like to give a little disclaimer. I've realized that looking at the camera is really just eye contact in disguise. And for those of you who don't know, I'm autistic and most of us don't tend to like on eye contact because it interrupts our thoughts and honestly takes more brain power than it's worth. So I won't really be trying to look directly at the camera anymore. Now you're probably like, Magic, what do you mean get your life back together? Well, for a long time, my sleep schedule was completely thrown off. I mean, going to bed at noon and waking up at 6 p.m. off, which is not even enough sleep for me. It was aggravating because most of the time, no one's home during those times. But even when they are home, they're not awake because they have to sleep to go to school. And also, because I hate the dark, so my productivity during the night is very, very low. It's only recently that I managed to get my sleep schedule from about 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., which is a much healthier amount of sleep. And it's super good considering I'm supposed to start college this fall. Also, because it turns out that I have 11 cavities and all of my filling appointments are at 8 a.m. On top of the sleep schedule, I also need to get used to doing lots of things again. I have been productive, but mostly from this chair. I've been doing a lot of crochet projects, which granted do need to be done, but aren't going to be helpful for me at college where I'll be switching tasks and moving from class to class. I need to be able to do that without getting ridiculously tired. And disclaimer, I don't mean that as an insult to people who can't do that. I mean that I personally have to hold myself to a higher standard because that is what is expected of me and I can't change that. So I'm going to try and document this process in videos, not only so that I can track my progress, but also to hold myself accountable. I've realized I'm more likely to do something if it means having content to release. Because contrary to popular belief, and what it probably seems like, I do actually like releasing content, I just have a horrible sense of time. So I'll upload something, and then I'll turn around, and it's three months later, and I will have uploaded nothing in that time. Which I am very sorry for. So most of the things I'm gonna be doing for like probably the first week of this endeavor are very simple things that other people would do naturally, but these things just don't come naturally to me, or at least they haven't yet. In general, things that I want to get done today, and I have written this down, I have a little clipboard over there with a piece of printer paper on it, and it's written down on there. I want to empty the bag that I took to the funeral Saturday. I want to put away the toaster because I used it for breakfast. I want to put away the cereal that I ate for breakfast yesterday. And I want to empty the dishwasher because that is clean. As far as crochet projects go, I have the shawl that's due June 9th, and it's um, four colors in stripes. I want to start and finish the medium pink stripe on the shawl and start the magenta stripe. I probably won't get that one done today. I also need to throw out all of my old birth control packs because I suck at taking my meds and I need to start the new one and I think I want to take that with lunch. Now on to scheduling. Well, not really scheduling. I'm not assigning times, just more of a order I'm going to do things in. Well, first things first, I need to go brush my teeth because my breakfast was very sugary and I do have 11 cavities. I do happen to have an anti-cavity toothpaste that I use and that needs to sit on my teeth for 30 minutes. So it'd probably be best to get the upstairs chores done then so that there's no drink or food to tempt me because it's all downstairs. So that's when I'll probably empty the funeral bag and then I'll come downstairs and throw out the old meds and put away the other breakfast stuff. After that, that's a bit of moving, so it would probably be a good idea to sit down. So I'll probably get two out of the five rows done for the um, mid pink stripe on the shawl. And then after that, I'll probably do the dishes because it probably won't quite be lunchtime by then. And that way the dishes would already be put away when lunch does roll around. After that, it will probably be lunchtime, and if it's not, I'll just work on this blanket or the poncho over there until it is. And with lunch, I need to take my new birth control, that is super important. Then, because my stomach isn't the nicest thing in the world, I'll let lunch settle with the third row of the stripe on the shawl. Um, and then it's teeth time again, which means another 30 minutes of not being able to drink anything. And with that, the 30 minutes, I think I'll probably finish the mid-stripe of the shawl. Now the only thing left on my list after that is the magenta stripe, but I don't want to overwork myself on that project in case I burn out and then I get even more off schedule. So what I'll probably do there is take to Notion, which I love Notion, I love Notion so much, 
and actually work out the schedule for the shawl so that I can truly keep track of my progress instead of just thinking to myself, oh, I got done less than I got done yesterday, so that means I'm off schedule. Once that's done, I'll probably do three out of the seven rows for the magenta stripe, and after that, I'm not quite sure what I'll do. I'll probably trim the clips for this video and create the thumbnail and I might add the music. Then it's time for the fourth row and then I'll probably just chill. I don't need to finish the magenta row today, I really just wanted to start it, but getting over half of it done with that fourth row would be a good idea. After that, I'll have completed everything on my list, so I'll probably just chill and watch a movie or something. I really want to watch Spirit. I feel like watching Spirit. Since it probably won't be time for a shower just yet since I took my shower at like four yesterday and hopefully it won't be four by then. That would be some really slow crocheting right there. But after that, yeah, that'll be everything I want to get done for today. There are other fairly simple tasks that need to be done in regards to like cleaning my room and cleaning the areas of the house that have my things in them. But this is a process, so I don't want to do all of the simple things at once because that would just be harmful in the long run to trying to get myself better at doing things. So I'm just going to finish this row here. You see there's not much left. And then I'll go brush my teeth and we'll get started on this plan. I can't say for certain where exactly we're going to check in. Because sometimes not filming helps, and sometimes filming helps, and then I've also got this app that can track productivity if I'm not doing anything on my phone. But sometimes I need to be doing things on my phone, and it's a whole thing. I will see you. I don't know exactly when I'll see you, but I'll see you. Uh, at least after this row is done. So, wish me luck! So I liked it to record brushing my teeth over emptying the bag and putting the toast away and stuff, because I have that productivity app that um, I can turn on and then uh, if I don't do anything else on my phone, it counts it. And I can use that as my timer for my 30 minutes and also emptying the bag is gonna be a lot of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between this bathroom and my bedroom. So there's not much of a point in recording that. Why am I so out of breath from going up the stairs? I live here. I shouldn't be this out of breath going up the damn stairs. Oh well, choose time. Checking in again, it has officially been 30 minutes since I brushed my teeth, which means I get to drink again, yay. I took the opportunity while I was upstairs to um, brush and braid my hair. This is my preferred hairstyle because it doesn't tug and it doesn't come undone as soon as I move like a bun would. I emptied the bag from the funeral and then I did the old birth control and I put away the toaster and the cereal. And for the past, I'd say about 15 minutes, I've been watching Try Guys videos on my computer and working on these two rows of the shawl. You can see I'm finishing the first one now, and then I'll do the second. When I finished the original stuff I planned to do during those 30 minutes, I kind of had to force myself to sit down. I really wanted to just keep moving and put away the dishes and do all this other stuff that isn't even on the agenda for today. I had to remind myself that I'm not doing this to get things done. Like, yes, things are getting done, but that's not the point of making these lists and these schedules and documenting it in these videos. If I had kept moving, I would have gotten things done, yeah, but that would have been it. I probably wouldn't have gotten anything else done the rest of the day, even the things that don't require actually moving. I don't want to be able to do lots of things in one sitting. That's I've been doing that my whole life. I don't need to do that. I need to be able to do lots of things spread out over an entire day. In the long run, going with the flow of my adrenaline isn't going to help, especially if I just do it repeatedly over and over again. Anyway, with all that being said, I am going to make a change to the schedule. I'm going to finish this first row and then I'm going to do the dishes and then I'll do the second row. I don't know how long the second row will take, and I do want to try and eat lunch at 12. If I do both rows first, I might not have much time in between putting away the dishes and making lunch, which may take away my motivation to make lunch. I have pasta and takeout leftovers I could warm up, but if I'm not careful with my stamina, I might lose too much energy and just end up like having chips or something. 
for lunch instead, which I don't want because there's two perfectly good meals sitting in the fridge. So I'm going to go empty the dishes now and then I'll complete the second row and then we'll see how things are going. So the ketchup fell. It is now 12 o'clock. I am making my leftover rigatoni from Eatable Rigatoni Day. And I went ahead and prepared my birth control. Hi, Ella. I went ahead and prepared that, including ripping up all of the... Ow. Including ripping up all of the sheets of papers and stickers and stuff that had my address on them because you don't throw away things that just have your address on them and I the lids the lids on these containers never want to sit right but I finished the two rows and I put away the dishes obviously you saw the time lapse of that and now it's time to eat food. And down goes the period regulator. I took that the wrong way. I usually put a drink in and then I put the pill in my mouth. I, um, I finished my pasta and I remembered that I have ice cream in the fridge. I have two servings of ice cream because what I'll do is I'll, I'll order McFlurries and then I'll put them in the freezer and then I'll eat them one at a time. So I have ice cream in the freezer. However, I did have stomach problems earlier, so I don't know if it's the best idea to eat it just now. I, um, I think I'm gonna go in the sunroom, which is right there, literally right there. That's a door in the sunroom. Um, I think I'm gonna take the project in the sunroom and I'm gonna go do the double crochet or the third row. Um, in there and then I might eat my ice cream after that yeah because after doing that row I'm supposed to brush my teeth but if I'm gonna eat ice cream I want to do that before I brush my teeth so we'll see double crochet row is done I have elected to eat ice cream um but I don't want to wear my hand out um too quickly because I still do have the two other single crochet rows to do as well as the beginning of the magenta stripe so I think while I eat my ice cream I'm probably gonna um do some online shopping or browsing or stuff I like doing that stuff I like looking through things I might design some more converse because I ordered a pair of custom converse so I made converse accountant I have much enjoyed saving custom converse designs to it so um I'm gonna do that So I finished my ice cream and by then I was like, oh, you know what, it's pretty late. So I made the executive decision not to brush my teeth again after lunch. I'll wait until after dinner before I go to bed to do that. But I finished the final rows of the medium stripe of pink and now I'm going to work on the page for this shawl so that I have a little guide and I know what I need to do every day. And I'll probably time lapse that so I can listen to music as I do it because that'll probably be a better idea than playing a game while I do it. And I will see you there.
So I made the notion page for the shawl, uh, though I hope to get work done quicker than the schedule that I made for it. The schedule is less of a guide and more of a hard limit for what I need to get done in order for the project to be done in time without, you know, breaking my hand on the last day rushing. I also made the decision to not finish the day in this video. I realized that the schedule and stuff is going to extend past when the rest of my family gets home. The rest of my family being just my mom and my brother, but still. And while I don't care if they watch my videos, hi Andrew, I do care if they're around when I film them because when it's just me, it's me filming in my house. It's me filming in the house that I live in. But when I'm filming in common spaces in their home, I'm also infringing on their space and their time, especially for them, because they've been at school all day, so it's their relaxation time a lot of the time, and that's not okay with me. I probably won't make a video every day, as that's just a bit too much to expect of myself, but I will give updates on what happened off screen when I do film. Like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a long process, so on top of it just not being a realistic goal for myself, vlogging every day just would not make sense. There would be a whole bunch of videos and it's not a good idea for my channel, even if there's nobody here. The plan currently is to get something done every week, but it's Thursday, which is a horrible day to start a weekly schedule off, so it might be a while before the next one, but I swear on Arthur Pendragon, the king of chaos, and y'all, I love Arthur, there will be another video. So I guess I'll see you there. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.